That's just a scientific name that, I mean, if I said Plecoptera to a, to a uh, person from China, if I said Plecoptera, they'd know what it is right away. That's a universal name. Okay? There's nothing that's fancy or sophisticated. That's a Latin name for that particular group. It means folded wing. Okay, Ephra Morocco. That's Mayfly. This is Stonefly. Mayfly are short lived. And somebody asked the question how long do these critters live? Uh, some of you know about damselflies and dragonflies. They live for a long time, they live for, for the whole summer. And they fly around and prey on other things too, but most of these things are just fairly short lived. They uh, emerge, reproduce, lay the eggs, and then the female dies. They both die. But uh, the dragonflies and damselflies live a little longer. So, mayfly, air from rocker, how do you separate that? Well, it's got a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. It's got some gills here. This doesn't have any gills. Okay. It has three pairs of legs with one claw and maybe two or three tails that are very delicate. The tails on the stonefly are very stiff and robust. These are very delicate. Uh, mayflies are probably one of the hardest groups to identify because you have to look at something, you have to look at the gills, they have little veins in them and so on, but they break off so easily. But that's, that's what it is. So you're looking for something, two tails, two claws. Two or three tails, one claw. You got it right there. You can tell a mayfly. You can impress your friends that way. Okay, these are interesting groups here because they're more primitive than most of the other insects. They're primitive because you know about butterflies, right? What do they do? They have an egg. They have a larva, which is a caterpillar, right? And what does it do next? Pupates. And then it becomes an adult. It has four, four life stages. These two do not. They just go from egg to critter to adult. It has no pupil stage. It's, it's primitive development. That's all. But so I'm just telling you, these are what we call nymphs or naiads. And then if we come over here to the caddisflies,